We got. Dad. We have. Did you see that? How hard it yes, is. Dad. Did you know how? Any idea how hard it is to book Josh Cunt right now? Josh Cunt is so hot. Dad, so hot what are you right talking now. about? I'm I'm on. I'm in the hospital right now. What are you talking about, Dad? I'm talking you about Josh Cunt. We you got him, Thomas. The He's going to be there. Thomas, we're going to sell tickets. I know. The show's going to sell out, and I'm going to be on stage. Or I'm going to be on stage, Thomas, and I'm going to talk to millions of people, and I'll also tell them that you're sick, too. And 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 it's going to be amazing, Thomas. Dad, did you not hear why did you song? GTO? Did you, did you not hear Josh Cunt? I heard it, okay? I well, heard you, what it. Are these, I, let, I, let me I, ask I, what you, what did you think? Do you like it? A little, a little Yes, I liked it. I'm, you're avoiding it. You're avoiding the problem, Dad. I'm, you're you're very sick. Okay, you need your you need your rest now. Okay. Just see him a May, right? He and you won't even rest. teach your son okay, how to he's, fight. He's I'm very, bullied. very sick boy. He's very sick. I'm getting bullied at school. Super, super sick. No, Dad. But we're gonna Dad. take a short break, and we'll be right back after Dad. these messages. God oh, bless. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome, uh, welcome back to the audience. Like this one here. It says, when the sinners uh, F-sharp and drown, it's going to be a victory royale for us on the ark. Or this one here coming in from Chuck. He says, Richard, please pray for me. I just found out that my wife is cheating on me, and it was with my brother. I can't believe it. She's my wife, my best friend, and my sister, and she cheated on me. Adulterers go to hell, plain and simple. Cheaters go to hell, plain and simple. Cheaters go to hell, plain and simple. Okay? Everybody want to type that. Cheaters go, go. Cheaters go, yeah, type that. Yeah. From um, Massive E, who says, Hi, Richard. I'm serious. I want my dog back. You've had him... Long enough now. I miss. Okay. That's disgusting. From DB Smith, who says, Hi, Richard. I just want to say I love the show and your church's mission. Here's $100 for being such an important part of my life. Well, glorious day, Richard. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. My dad passed away after he was bit by a bird. But it's not all bad. I have a new dad now. He's much taller and more handsome than my last dad. And this one comes in from Queen uh, Radovich. Radovo, it's, it's, it's a Ukrainian, I think. Glorious day, Richard. Please wish Belle well as she's come down with terminal cancer. Bunga. Ashir Hyder says, I hit the lotto and I'll be donating most of it to you, Mr. Burnish. Burnish bless. Here's 200. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Smog. I don't think that's a real doctor, but uh, you need to take a cannabis pill and chill out, Richard. You need to break free from your war on drugs sentiment. This is why my church grows and the Church of the Neon Bible is stagnated. Well, now that, that's stagnated isn't it two people can do that <sighs> Richie I'm letting Johnny know about the impending doom for your boy Thomas he said he will contact you as he's very good at making problems go away bog bless who's the juice I just said the juice Let's go, Richard. You and and um, me, you one on one. Your CMMA versus my jujitsu. Uh, Billy Doe says my son Earl died a few months ago of coronavirus. I'm very sorry to hear that. My son is also dying. Um, a rare disease caused by eating bad corn. Please pray for him. Well, we'll we'll put him in our prayers. We'll Hey everybody. 
take the time and slow it down a little bit. I want to apologize for some of these um, crank calls that people have been making. You know, I wish that majority of them would just go on and watch another program, but it doesn't often work that way. Everybody wants to ruin it for us and call here and do prank. Line six. Hello and welcome uh, to the program. You're live on Montclair Public Access to US TV. Welcome. Welcome Hello. to the program. Hi, how are you? Uh, doing, doing fantastic. What, what's going on, caller? What's the rub? So um, I heard some disconcerning news uh, last, uh, last show, Richard. Thomas is very sick. That is very true. Uh, it's, not, it's not about Thomas. Although I have heard about that, and in uh, to donate, I have donated twenty thousand dollars, Richard, just to help out with Thomas. What? But what I really was calling about was um, Casey. It uh, turns out she's a uh, fourteen. Um. <laughs> She's, uh, you know, uh, the assigned arc wife that you gave me, Richard. Uh, what, uh, I had no. to flee the country. I live in no, Cuba no, now. No, no, Casey is not. Yeah. Um, Casey was not assigned to be anyone's wife. Okay, she's, um, she's, she's too young to be a wife. She's but, not Richard, eligible it, to it, be it, it, a, a it happened. wife. It, it happened. Though. I had the FBI show up at my house, and now I live in Cuba. You know where I work now, Richard? I work at Hurricane Joe's. Hurricane Joe's is nothing. Hurricane Joe's. I hate it. Well then. Hurricane Joe's, sir. But I, I have what's to on that, what's, what do you guys the make? What do you, what do you guys make there? Uh, uh, it's like you know, weird looking taco things made out of ranch and cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I think I think we just dip ranch and cheese in a deep fryer and sell it. Well, what is it that you? And then do? sometimes we find like, what, uh, I'm washing all the dishes. At, uh, what, would you, what, would you, what would your boss have to say? Um, well, I recognize this voice to be honest, and I remember your boss Jim had something to say about this. You taking these, do you not working when you're supposed to be at work? Jim was an asshole. Okay, and I, well, I miss Jim, though. Well, hey, listen. Uh, listen. Jim, can you hear us? Jim? Listen. God. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, you were saying? You, were, you, you had something uh, you had to say to Jim? Jim, listen here. We've, okay, I know you missed me, bro, but now that I'm in Cuba, I don't know what well, I can no, do. Well, no, it, sound, it just sounded like you were calling him an a-hole a second ago. Well, you want to know, you wanna know why? You want to know why? You are. Why call me an a-hole? You want to know why? Yeah. Why? I caught him gerbling. Do that. That's when they put it in their bums, yeah. right? That's when they put that in their bums. Yeah, right? I caught him gerbling. And you know what, Richard? He was so mad that I exposed him. Well, he. I remember he said that that, that gerbil fell into the... It accidentally died in some sort of accident or something like that. But it's because he put it into his bum. Richard, he, put him in, he put him in the deep fryer. That is how that gerbil died. You put okay, that gerbil into your B. Look, look, put him in your look. rectum. Not an Eminem rap song, okay? I am not an Eminem I, rap song. You do not quote me on that, man. Okay, I am not putting gerbils in my bum. Terrible. What is I going on here? Our, l listen, listen. Did, are you, I caught him with the dog, Richard. I caught him with the Are you putting a D in your B? I mean, Have it I, don't on know, video. I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to think here because it's like, it sounds like he's the type of guy who likes to, I, to put his him? to stick his BFD in his A. You know what he said when I caught him too? What did he say? I just love big juicy cock wieners. <laughs> <laughs> 